I was a huge Jason Leffler fan when I was a kid, seeing him race and he was one of my heroes. And I think the biggest reason I was a fan of Jason was just because I got to meet him when I was young. He was super nice to me, an awesome guy. It's huge to be able to honor Jason and hopefully give him a really good run. I think Jason was always a hard nosed racer, you know, I mean, just one of those guys came from open wheel racing, dirt racing, and I think just a guy that wasn't gonna take anything. I think also having the connection with JT, you know, he worked on that car in 2004 in the Bush series. So um, it's where I got the double zero from. It's where, you know, that all started. So I think uh, that car always meant a lot. That was in, uh, was in 04 with uh, Jason Leffler. So that was uh, actually was the first, I guess, uh, paying job that I had in racing. He was a, a lot of fun to be around off the track. You know, we uh, kept the group together, but uh, when you got him on the racetrack and got him at the racetrack and the helmet was on and, and the time was serious, he was uh, very passionate about what he'd done, very uh, talented driver. See him, and, and I think, you know, Jason's a lot like Cole. You know, he was such a, uh, a, a big part of our team and such a big part of, you know, the friendships that we had. We wanted to win for him, you know, as much as we wanted to win for us. For an organization, it showed that, you know, we was, we, we was legitimate. Tonight, it's Jason Leffler. Let's go down to Victory Lane and Mark Garrow. Jason Leffler climbing out of that box automation machine. To an exciting win. It's always nice to see somebody new in victory lane. Jason Leffler is a very popular driver and you can see. I think another big thing about that year was the the Daytona race, the July Daytona race. Oh, when yeah. they wrecked he wrecked both DEI drivers yeah. in one lap on yeah, the and, and, and that just showed his tenacity to, to want to win, you know. He he was not going to let them beat him at the fourth of July race down there in Daytona. And so uh, I think Michael Waltrip was leading the way I remember. He went to block him and Leffler turned him. He just kind of like you said, he, he didn't give it to him. He just turned him and he spun down the back stretch. And then, so that allowed Junior to get a run to his outside. Well, they got to turn three and, and, and Leffler didn't even, he wasn't gonna let him pass him. So he just squeezed him in the wall. I think that he just sent a message, you know, and that's, and that's who he was on, on the racetrack. And then he got out and he was joking and laughing and, and, and like it wasn't nothing to it, so to speak. Uh, but he, he was a tough, tough competitor. And the, what made that team so special was Leffler and his personality, uh, how he wanted it to be a team. He wanted us to be friends. You know, Booty Barker was wired the same way. You know, we had, you know, Phil Ryder and Sean Haggerty and Hal, Hal Dooley and, and uh, Trucker Bill and Scott Bray that's still here. And we all was a one big family. You know, Daniel Smith and, and uh, Shrek and Mike Warner that was on that team. And we'd done a lot of stuff outside of the racetrack with one another. We just honestly enjoyed being around each other and as friends and and, and, and then we just got to compete with one another too. And I, I think that uh, that's not something that happens every day. You know, and that's what made that team so special was was the relationships that that, that, that we had and and and, and you know uh, still, uh, you know, I don't have Facebook, but my wife does, and we keep up. You know, they've moved to different parts of the country now, but still keeping up with their kids and them growing and and, and you know, and it's just uh, just a special group of people that still have a, a big part in my heart that, uh, that, that I still think a, a lot of, don't get to keep up with them as much as we'd like to, but still consider them friends. And you know, that's, that's, that was, that's not, don't happen every day. And that's, that's not something that's very special to us. So, and that's, and that paint scheme, you know, honestly, reminds you of all those friendships that you, that you created over that car, you know, so.